<laughs> All right, you're back. What what does BitcoinCash.org need to do? Yo, Josh, that was you froze up. brutal, man. That was brutal. We can't take that any again. Fifty <laughs> down. Can you so, restart? I mean, it, restart what you're what saying Bitcoin from BitcoinCash.org. So BitcoinCash.org has made political decisions as to why certain things can't be listed on that site. So uh, there was a request, for instance, Flowey the Hub got removed as a full node. I know that there's politics with Xander, whatever, uh, but the node works and is going to be ready for the upgrade. Uh, BCHD is not implementing the IFP and is going to have the exact same feature as, as Bitcoin Cash node come May. But Bitcoin Cash node was rejected and is not getting listed. That's politics. That's not uh, a site to list resources. And to me, we need uh, to stay away from the politics and really stick to whether or not things conform to the spec as to when upgrades are going to occur. And we need to get out of these little silos and be able to list things um, as being compatible when they are. And I, I think it's it sucks to play politics on you know a name brand site like BitcoinCash.org, and that makes me sad. Um, I used to actually help and list and maintain things on BitcoinCash.org, and I was removed. So I tried to do that. I tried to be that facilitator, and I was removed from that. So that, that is frustrating for me as someone who personally tried to do that and maintained the site for a long period of time. So uh, I, I look at it as if we want a healthy multi-node development environment, we need to make sure that at bare minimum, uh, compatible implementations are listed and to have some, some form of footing. And especially on compatibility requirements, what's required for compatibility for Oh, man. <laughs> so brutal. What's required, uh, required for compatible? That's San Francisco internet. Yeah. That freaking San yeah. Francisco. Probably man. pays 200 bucks a month San for it. A homeless person went did a number two on his uh, cable, I guess. <laughs> uh, you can't call them homeless. You can't call them homeless. That's, what are they uh, called? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I left the United States. I don't have to do that. Patriots. Patriot. Josh, sorry to sorry to hear that about your your experience knowing you personally and somewhat professionally. It's, that's a shame, um, but I, I do want to ask: like, is there is the requirement for being listed there just just functionality? I mean, is is you know what I mean? It's like a it's a slippery or it's a fine line, right? Because like, I mean, potentially, you could have hostile people with things that work. You know that they themselves have ulterior motives. So I agree so with that, that, but how do you we're assuming that works. some of the like, most there's gotta be then we're assuming some of the most important devs in Bitcoin Cash are malicious because I'm looking at the maintainer of no, 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 Bitcoin no, no. I'm not, like I'm not making, Electron just, Cash. I'm looking at the guy that founded Bitcoin ABC with uh, the rest of the sure. team in free I'm not, trade. I'm not trying to talk about the current. I'm talking about a generic gener uh, a general rubric for e exception. Do yeah. you think it can just be the works? Or I agree with you. Uh, it it should be that if it works, any other and it have some track record. Um, but I think we have to look at the people, and there's enough people like the people behind Fountainhead.cash and other developers where uh, these are obviously not malicious situations. Same with like Bitcoin Verde, which still isn't listed. Um, so I, I look at a lot of people banding together to try to produce, you know, the best possible software. Um, and you're right. There could be a malicious node that forks off and has, you know, hidden features to steal key material or other things like that. So you do need to be wary about, you know, right. adding I mean, things if to your the whole, first day. Imagine a team that is like, you know, anonymous or whatever, and they come out with some sick stuff and they're like, look, it works. And people are like, but who are you? What are your motives? And they're like, doesn't matter. Like we make good code. You know what I mean? I just feel like this is a, of course is a particular problem. The Bitcoin and any sort of decentralized governance is that yeah. it's run by people. And so as much as we want to pretend that like, we're like AI, uh, AI oracles all like interacting gracefully with each other. I mean, there's people involved. So how, how, as far as, you know, as me, someone who's interested in Bitcoin, not necessarily technically, cause I don't understand things on that level. I'm more interested in on a social and psychological level because that's what i do understand well is coming up with governance systems so even you know the protocol itself the whole point of bitcoin is how do you govern but also like how do you govern websites about bitcoin that's like another well, meta issue within the stack 
the way hey, can I, I jump in it, real quick about, for example, uh, Bitcoin Verde is, I mean, we, we, ABC is uh, undermanned. I mean, we just like when these guys are working on bugs and backports and things like making sure the website is complete and making sure everybody is happy with it are very, I'm fully behind those goals. But the thing is, it pales in importance compared to other things. You know, but BitcoinCash.org is not Bitcoin ABC. That's my point. Those two things should not. I don't be think anybody's together. saying that it is. Right, but that, no, that's no the nobody is I'm saying talking. that. No, is nobody the manpower is manpower for the website, and it is the same people. It is the same. That's the, that's the problem. Is that right now the people? So is that your make problem the with choices, the people or with the policies behind the website? Uh, I I like a lot of the people. I'm not going to say it's just a people problem, but uh, I think that there is no official policy as to who gets listed for full nodes and wallets. And right now, it is a personal decision that makes that happen. And mm -hmm. the only reason that certain node software is not there is it's not because uh, it doesn't work. Uh, so I, I, I want to interrupt. Of, I really want to interrupt. Oh, Sean's I was back. Involved in <laughs> all, almost all of these decisions. Like, yeah, hey, Shay. for example, you, nice you were you. quote unquote removed. But the thing was, like, you went to Mexico to see your girlfriend multiple times and nobody else could de deploy the website. Nobody else could work on it. So I moved it to infrastructure with a, a uh, like actual build system where anyone that was working on it could click deploy, right? Like, and other people could start working on it again. Like you were sitting on it. That's not what I'm referring it. to, Shay. Moving okay, the hosting sure. is fine. Sure, sure. So moving the hosting was fine. It was yeah, the so issues. Here's with here's the thing with like the the listing. I I'm not a privy of like other people's motives because there's a lot of people interacting that like make decisions as a group. They all have their own reasoning for what to support or not support. Personally, I, I don't think that a lot of stuff should be listed on BitcoinCash.org as far as the full nodes. There's there's a couple of reasons why I think that and why I think those nodes shouldn't be listed. One of them is like, how many hobby projects are we going to list? Like, is this software that's actively being supported? Do these people have relationships with exchanges? Are they willing to do, you know, are they willing to provide customer support? Like people don't know how much work ABC does. Like I was working literally from when I woke up to when I went to bed every day, either talking with people or writing code. I was up at like 3 a.m. to interact with people in Japan. Like they deserve to get paid. They're like Omri is like he would be making 500 plus K a year if he went to Facebook again. And he's effectively donating his time. And then during the developer meetings, people have ulterior motives like Xander, like these, like Tom Harding. They are not interested in actually having technical debates and discussions about things. They come in and they're just aggressive. They have some motive. The, 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 the truth of this is you have Andrew Stone, you have Tom Harding, you have Tom Xander, like You'll notice that Bitcoin Verde and BCHD have reasonable relationships with ABC. What do the other three people have in common? They all failed at actually hard forking. They are right to the policy of Omri. So, like, that is a big problem when you can't actually hey. have a reasonable discussion with people. Like, you can't actually agree on any spec because they actually don't want a spec. Like, Tom Harding, he pretended to interact with me on, like, trying to determine what the spec should be and he actually refused to give feedback and then when a spec was merged finally then he complained it's like you could have hit reject you could have hit at request changes but he refused to do that and then he told me after the fact that like i just don't ever want another hard fork like 2017 was sufficient for him and so all of his motives in any conversation were always just to stymie any actual changes and the technical details weren't relevant as well as like Tom Zander. He just takes the opposite side of every argument. Like he was wrong about CTOR. He was wrong about other stuff. A lot of people were wrong about cash adder. That wasn't even a consensus level change. The reason free trader left ABC and stopped working on it. Free trader wanted to do a survey for whether we implemented cash adder. People were losing money. I lost money trying to send money to other people. And they sent me a legacy address. I asked for a, a, a Bitcoin cash address. They sent me a legacy address for Bitcoin. I lost money on it. They lost money on it. They didn't want to take the time to recover the funds or they didn't have the technical ability to recover the funds. Cash Adder has 
stop that from happening. Like people don't send funds to other states and people were pissed. Like there was so much uproar in the community over this and every single change has been this way. Like, why are we adding the op codes? Op codes don't do anything. Like I had that conversation with so many people for the uh, May 2018 hard fork. That was almost a split back then. And like, what has that given us? That has provided so much additional use for Bitcoin Cash. Like you can do tons of things on Bitcoin Cash now. The same thing for OpDSV, like uh, or check data sig, whatever you want to call it. That like that almost caused a split. It actually did cause a split. Oh, it did cause a split, but that actually wasn't why. It was a political split. Like people were making made up technical arguments. They weren't actually interested in the best interest of Bitcoin Cash. They were doing it for ego or profit motives. And like, why would I list something on Bitcoin Cash? Or I don't have access to it, right? But I can give my opinion. Like eventually somebody has to merge code and make changes. That person is ultimately the like final say on it. But why would I want them to list software? Like D BSV didn't support the spec. Like should I, they claim to have been Bitcoin Cash at the time. Like, should I list their node? Like, there are other sides to all these stories. Like, people weren't involved in all the conversations I had. Like, how do you want to, how do you want to fund development? And now RBC has this funding thing. And like, what's the, like, it was what was requested of them. You want so, to see the IFP go away? Make sure they have funds so that they can do stuff. I agree. And I put forth proposals to multiple people on how they could do funding. I am really happy yeah, that they're doing the funding. you've done that proposal. We walked, we walked down Market Street in San Francisco. And you're like, you know what really needs to happen? Pool software needs to allow people to donate. We need a button in this when you rent hash. No, you, can, you, you can just the, do the conversations a I had directly with Jahan. Or the meetings yeah. I had with Bitcoin.com's. Hey, Shama, are you are you pro the IFP or? I'm not pro the current form of IFP, but I wrote a long article about what I think needs to happen with it. I don't think it should be a centralized whitelist. I think miners should be able to come up with a way to form consensus to donate to the node software they want. But I feel strongly that miners should be the one paying. And the thing that people always forget is that any miner can donate right now. It is very easy for them. They don't need additional stuff in the pool software. That's not, that isn't going to fix the problem. The problem is that there's a negative incentive for any miner to donate. They lose money when they do that. When other miners essentially can buy more hardware, they make a larger profit margin. Like, why would I not let someone else fund the project if I can make more money myself? That's the incentive mode right there. In 2018, there was a large meeting where almost all the miners came together and like, yeah, if we can all do this together, then it makes sense because we're not losing money. The security's reduced a little bit, but that fund goes to somewhere else. And we're not like being outcompeted by another miner that isn't contributing. Like everyone has to contribute then. And that's their incentive so, structure to actually so, form a cartel. That is Bitcoin. So, so like, <laughs> the, the, uh, like doing saying uneducated things about how funding should be done is not helpful you mislead everyone in the bitcoin cash community like you're perceived as an authority you're perceived as someone that knows what they're talking about and then you don't do the research like it is not true what you said you wrote an article again about it like that isn't pool who do you think pays for abc right now it is all the like various large miners Right. Yes. And ABC rejected funding from tons of people that were minors because it came with strings attached. Right. Where is ABC supposed to get funds where strings aren't attached? What businesses don't have some other incentive where they have to return money to their investors? Right. Like, why did why did check data say get added? That was Bitcoin.com that wanted that. We did that work for them. They didn't pay anything for it, as far as I know. Right? And then Op Group. Andrew Stone gets paid by Bitcoin.com, or at least he did. 
And he implemented that for them because Emil and Roger wanted on-chain verified tokens. It was a shit spec. It made no sense. They came on multiple times. We're super aggressive about trying to get it in. It would have really damaged the base level protocol, made it harder to extend. Like, why should I list? Like, let's say they implement that. Why should I list that on BitcoinCash.org? It's technically incorrect. The decisions that are being made are not political. They're based on what is in the best interest of this cryptocurrency. And the governance system is fork. You don't like what's going in? Produce your own fork. Do the work. Like, users should vote with their feet. That is the libertarian way of doing things. There is, right now, a shelling point around ABC. That's because anybody that runs something else risks forking. Like, that's the reality of it. I don't necessarily like it, but that's how the economics work. If I'm an exchange that runs BCH, like, Bitcoin Cash node, and they have a bug, I could be split off the chain. I spent three days awake because Bitcoin.com was running BU in the May 2018 hard fork. There was a minor bug. If it had been used by anyone, it would have forked Bitcoin dot com off the chain their entire pool they would have lost tons of money because they were in, they were incompatible with the actual implementation which wasn't to spec in abc it was an accident but we pushed out an emergency patch because we had that relationship with all the exchanges and the miners we put in the work over three days we like barely slept to communicate with everybody to implement the code to secretly roll it out so that it couldn't be um so that it couldn't be exploited like i was the one corresponding from with the bitcoin core guy that reported it to us and we weren't sure who he was we weren't even sure if he's malicious if he exploited it during the middle of a roll-up it would have actually caused more of a split it would have been a bigger problem so i don't know i'm very frustrated getting why abc implemented it where did it come from it wasn't abc like abc could have implemented this years ago why did it like Mike, why why did it get implemented? Why did they do that? Oh, I'm just wondering why you didn't choose the fundraiser first, a public it's fundraiser. Not me. It's not me. I'm not part of ABC. Lack okay, sorry, of part of resources. Who was going to run? Who was who in ABC now was going to run that? Who was going to put up Mo the website? Amori. Who was going to yeah, Amori is going to spend <laughs> weeks drafting a 26-page document, setting up meetings, making a website, getting testimonials. Look, guys. Look, yes. guys, you look. That you came in after the fundraiser came in after, and at the time before the fundraiser was uh, when the IFP was announced, George was not correct me if I'm wrong on the team. Correct, I joined uh, 24th February, on. about Who, six weeks who's ago. In, who's in charge of ABC? Amori <laughs> is okay. So Amori is in charge of having ABC funded. It's very simple. Anytime. Any CEO of any company, any any uh, any head of any nonprofit, any anyone who's in charge of any group of people in a company way, nonprofit way, whatever, the guy at the top is in charge of making sure people get paid, and including himself, um, if he's going to be drawing a salary. So, Amor, if you're saying Amory's in charge, which I agree with, he's definitely in charge um, from everything I've seen. He's he's in charge of getting it paid. So now he can delegate that job, but he's the one who is saying we're going to do it this way. If 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 you're saying he's he and and I'm and I'm not I'm not saying um what I'm what I'm trying to say by this is is if 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 he's in charge, he's the one who put in IFP. He's the one who chose to do it this way. If you want to have him focused entirely on coding, then he needs to pick someone to do the fundraising. If he doesn't want to do the fundraising and he wants to put in code that it, that takes it out of BTC miners, then yeah, he needs to convince the community. He failed to do that. The community is not convinced, and Ooh. he didn't get the funds. I would Ooh. put it another Ooh. way. No one stepped up to help before me. Or if they did step up, they just they, they weren't able to take but, it as far as I've taken it. And there have been previous fundraiser and other private means tried. But this this is no simple task. You know, if you look at other protocol or infrastructure 
uh, open free and open source software development projects, they have these problems in spades. Th this is no simple task. And you can't say, yeah, well, they, hey, Amorty and, should and have done X or Y. Or they die. Because while no, they, but but you're they, saying that, he's not just the guy you know in charge, the final decision maker. He's also the CTO. And he's also the guy out there solving all the problems and keeping you know uh, be, keeping on top of backports managing the team looking for new talent to bring on board like yeah a, there are a lot of shoulds here but you know what i mean people have to step up i stepped up that's why we have a fundraiser now at the end of the day crypto remains a very small place we need more people and in order to do that we need to grow and to grow we need money Look, yeah, there, uh, there was there was an open source project. I, I, I'm going to say it was open SSL. I don't think it was actually open SSL, but but there was an open source project that was used everywhere. Super fundamental to, to um, the infrastructure of the Internet. And there was basically, oh, it was. Uh, oh, yeah, it was GPG. Open SSL. Yeah, it was open SSL. That's what I thought. You know what I'm talking about? This guy was on a shoestring budget, similar situation, horrible uh, lack of funding. But dude, if he'd said, "Hey, I've got a problem," you know, no one, no one's investing in this. I mean, ABC has been saying that for years. And the, you know, if you want to talk about the IFP, there's a news article off from May 2018 on uh, I mean, Bitcoin.com saying that that was the plan. So th this is this is but, nothing. But they've new. also, but they've also been, they've also had funding before. Right? Yes, but it only lasts so, so long. So, so, sure. But what I'm what I'm trying to say is, you had funding before, or ABC had funding before, not you, but ABC had funding before. You can go back to the same sources, or you can do something else. But you know, there are other there are other development teams getting funded, and there are other things in open source getting funded. Linux has like fifty million dollars a year from Microsoft and all this other funds, and I'm not saying and I'm not saying it's a, it's reasonable to expect BCH to get anywhere near as much funds as Linux. It's not as critical infrastructure to the internet yet. I hope one day that changes. Obviously, I'm trying to uh, do what I can to make sure that changes. But but you know, it's it's not like it's anyone else's job other than the people involved in ABC to get it funded. It's it's their job to get it funded. And again, yeah, IFP is a valid way to do that, but you have to get people to agree to IFP, and that's what didn't happen. You know, so, I mean, just like my question wasn't answered. Where did the IFP come from? Hmm. Great question. Thank you. Yeah, it came from the people that were funding ABC. Mm -hmm. And. So what you want? You want to blame ABC? So, for so, it. Why don't you so, blame the sure. people that are paying so for stuff? They, yeah, but they so they were paying for something. They wanted that thing to still exist, and they tried to get the rest of the community to pay for it in the form of less network security, less money towards network security. So and what is some, the alternative so to it? So to summarize, some people wanted to pay for ABC. They don't want to oh. pay for it anymore, and they want someone else to pay for it. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah. They want no, that. that's not I mean, accurate. I mean, they just want sounds, the cost to be like, shared among all the miners. They're, they're, they would that, continue that's, paying That's for exactly it. what I'm talking about. They want, they, want, they want to have other people that are not them bear the cost. And it's not just the miners. It's me as well as a BCH holder. I get less network security. That's a trade-off I, d I don't want to make in a scenario where BCH has 3% of the global hash rate of SHA-256. You know? I, I, I'll I take every ounce of network security I can get, please. Okay. Well, how much hash rate will you be voting with? I don't have any hash rate. Okay. I'm well, I'm a then holder. we know that I'm really saying, I'm saying, that your opinion saying, is valued I'm, by us, but not by the software that runs the network. I, well, that's proof I mean, of work. It is, man. Value, it is valued by the software that runs the network because the IFP didn't go ahead. But 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 furthermore, my 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 opinion is valid 
I mean, but, 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 it's, it's a ABC, vilifying ABC when it was actually miners that request the functionality, and then miners that I'm not decided to step ABC. back from it. I'm not. But that's I'm not what's been ABC. happening. That's what's been happening.